Hello and welcome to Acid Tech Tips. Today's quick video will be about how to properly wipe a hard disk. So really, really clear all the data off it so that even if you try to restore the data using a data res restoration program, uh, you'll have no luck. Your, all of your data will be securely and properly erased. So without further ado, let's get into it. The tool that I'm going to show you guys how to use is called Darx Boot and Nuke or DBAM. So what you want to do is you'll want to go to www.dban.org dban.org and click on download. Uh, this is a cool little tool and when you click on download it will give you an ISO image, a virtual CD. Here we go. Show in the folder, cut, pop it onto the desktop, and there we are. So this is the tool here. It offers a few different ways to wipe disks. Um, you can choose military style, you can choose the Goodman style. I'll, I'll, I'm going to mount the disk anyway and show you the few options that you've got and you can go into Google and then research each method yourself to find out how it works and what it does and so on. Um, but before we jump into that, once you've downloaded this disk, you will need to either burn it to a CD-ROM or make it into a bootable disk. So I'm not going to teach you how to burn CD-ROM disks. If, if you've got a, an issue or you're not sure how to make a, like burn a CD, then send me an email. For those of you who are putting this onto a USB, I would recommend using a tool called Rufus. Cute little tool, very light. You literally download it, open it up, let me show you because I actually have it installed here. Yes. Open it up. Put a CD into your CD-ROM. Oh, no, no. I apologize. Put a USB key, which I'm going to do now, into your USB port. And as you can see, it automatically pops up. Then you go here to this little icon, select that and choose your ISO image. We put it onto the desktop, so here it is. Click on open and then click start and it'll do the rest. And when it is finished, you will have a bootable USB disk where you'll be able to boot up your boot and nuke. Um, what's it called? PE, pre-installation environment. And now that is what I'm going to show you how to do. So let's shut down our virtual machine. Shut down. Okay. And we want to power off. We want to open up our CD-ROM drive. We want to insert our DBAN ISO image, which we downloaded into the CD-ROM drive. And we want to boot up. So this is the tool here. And um, it's very self-explanatory. I would recommend that you read what it shows you carefully because there's no coming back from this. Once you wipe your disk, it's gone. It's, it's wiped. It's wiped good. Um, the few different methods that you've got are... Okay, let's just give this a minute to load okay so here we are and now we want to select our disk because it's the only disk I have and as you can see down here at the bottom we have our options so we can choose M for method and here I will be able to show you 
quick erase, which you don't really want to do because that defeats the purpose of using this tool. Then we have RCMP. We have got the DOD, the military standard, uh, another DOD standard, Goodman, which is the one that I use, and then PRNG. Now, I'm not going to go into details because this is complicated stuff. If you're interested in knowing the details, then I would recommend that you open up Google. Come over here, Google, and type them in. So, for instance, like, and here you'll get some information explaining to you what the Gutman is all about. And you can go here and do the DOD, let's do the DOD 5220. And it'll give you a little bit of info on, actually, let's be a little bit more specific. 22M wipe, much better. You'll get a little bit more accurate information on exactly how that does its wipe and so on. So um, once you've researched whichever one you want, um, then basically you just you select it using the up and down arrow keys and then you hit the enter key to execute. It will take some time and you're just going to have to be patient. However, when it's done, don't expect to have a working... Oops, a daisy. Don't expect to have a working disk. You will need to reinitialize your disk. So to show you what that's going to look like once you've finished your wipe, let me just close this here. And let's just add a brand new fresh disk that's never been used before. Yep. And let's make it 10 gigs. Next, next. Um, okay, let us take out our CD from our CD-ROM drive. And let us restart our computer. So basically what I've done here now is I've added a brand new, fresh, never used before hard disk. This is the state that your disk will be in when you have finished wiping using the DBAN tool. There's going to be nothing on the disk. See, the way it works is when you have a file, the file's got a, like a, a pointer header, which is explaining where the file's location is and where the content of the file is. If you think now one layer underneath that, you've actually got the content, what makes the file the file. Run something like this. You've got your pointer and you've got your data. So when you delete just using a normal delete key or you do a quick wipe, what you do is you take away that part. The data is all still there. And all of these ones and zeros and whatever it is that makes up your file can be recovered using loads of recovery tools. Um, one really popular one for that matter is Recuva. Or you see UVA. So using a tool such as this here, I can basically plug in this hard disk that's had a, a quick wipe, or I can stick it on the operating system and scan a folder that's had something deleted. And I should be able to pull up whatever it was that was deleted, because what happens is the data is still there. Just because you can't see it up here doesn't mean it's not gone. And using tools like Recuva, you can recreate the pointer and make the file usable again, which means whatever you had there, somebody can see. When you use DBAN, what you're doing is you're deleting the pointer and you're writing new data. So what happens is all this data gets deleted and then it gets rewritten again, but it gets rewritten with nothing. So you end up with this, a big 
big block of nothing. Uh, and it does this over and over and over and over again so that no matter how hardcore the, um, the restoration tool is, there is no chance at all of that data coming back up again. So now you've got a bit of an idea of how it works. Now, what happens when I've got all this wiped and it's completely clean, I plug it back into my computer, uh, I don't get to see anything. It will look like, let me just log into the machine. It will look like this. You will have one disk, which is your operating system. You'll have your CD-ROM drive and nothing else. It'll be blank because the disk is not initialized. It doesn't even know what, what kind of a, a boot record or partition table to be on. So you need to go to the disk and set it as GPT or MBR reinitialize it and create a partition and so that's what we're going to do now so to do that you right click on this pc my pc my computer whatever you've got it called and you select manage and this this process i'm just showing you right click on whatever this here is called on your machine and selecting manage works in xp works in windows 7 works in windows 8 8.1 and windows 10. click on disk management and then instantly it's going to pop up like here and it's going to say to you what do you want to use do you want it to be on a guide table or do you want it to be on a master boot record now if you're using windows 10 you will need to check this because windows 10 generally speaking uses gpt for everybody else leave it on mbr okay and for all you Windows 10 users out there, I do a video on how to encrypt your, uh, your computer, uh, how to use Veracrypt to encrypt your computer. And in that video, I explain to you all how to convert your disk from GPT to MBR. I recommend you find the video, watch it and do it. Um, so for everybody else who's not Windows 10, click on MBR. Now, there's a quick way to find out what kind of disk you're currently using. First, okay, I'm going to show you an even easier way. Click on start, type in CMD, right click on it, choose run as administrator, go yes, and type in disk part. And then when that comes up, type in list space disk. So here you can see this disk here is not gpt there is no star here which makes this disk mbr now on my primary system i believe i am with gpt yes so here you can see my operating system disk is GBT. There's a star in it. So you see, that's how you can tell if you are or are not on a GPT partition table. And it's important to know that. You'll re you really will mess stuff up if you've got one disk with GBT and another disk as MBR. So do a quick check, find out what you've got, and that will help you to make the decision should you select MBR or GPT. Once you know, select the right one, click on OK, and then you'll have your nice big unallocated space, which is your disk. And that's going to be useless to you. You need to create a new partition on it, a new simple volume. So right click and click New Simple Volume, click Next, Next, give it a letter, whatever one you want. Give it a name, data, select next and finish. And then in a few moments, once the formatting has finished, it's going to pop up here 
and now I'll be able to use it and your disk is good to use again. So there you go everyone. Now you know how to use DBAM. You know how to completely and properly wipe a disk to kill all that data and really clean it up. How to reinitialize, how to select MBR or GPT and how to identify what your disk already is. If you've got any questions or you need any help, please send me an email. Do not hesitate. I'm here to answer your questions and show you what I can to help you reach your goals. Uh, somebody asked me to create a video on how to wipe a disk and that's what I'm doing here now. So if you do have any questions or if you do need any help or if you want any videos made, send me an email. And my email address is assetscript at gmail.com. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.